Apple releasing a new app feature allowing you to use your iPhone to help tackle everyday situations. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Langbeth. And I'm Phil Aldridge. One of those situations is getting pulled over by a police officer. News on Victoria Saha joins us live with a look at how the app works and what this could mean for traffic stops. Hey, Victoria. If you've ever been pulled over, you know it can make you nervous. But now with just a simple few words to Siri, you can tell her to document the whole thing. It's something officials say will help citizens as well as police. You know what those lights and sirens mean. You need to pull over. And a new iPhone feature allows you to record everything from the moment those lights start flashing. There's already two cameras in play. If somebody chooses to turn it on, it's not going to change how we do things. Wasa police already have body cams and dash cams. But now you can record your interaction yourself. It's in an app called Shortcuts. In that app, a feature released just this week called Pulled Over by Police. All you have to do is say, I'm getting pulled over. And it will send an automatic text to someone you choose and start recording the whole thing with the front facing camera on your iPhone. Wasa police say they welcome it. People that have been pulled over, people that we've interacted with and stuff like that. So we are very open and we share those. So it's no different than that of, I, I'm not concerned with so much um, of being recorded because we're always being recorded anyway. The Marathon County District Attorney says the recordings would be valuable in certain cases. Whatever is provided to us and definitely consider it as a piece of evidence. Again, we'd want to make sure that there is some way to ensure that the integrity of that recording was there. The worry would be if a video we take was edited before being submitted. Police also say as soon as they approach your car, they all do have the right to tell you to not reach for your phone. Live in Wausau, Victoria Saha, News 9, WAOW. Thanks, Victoria.